Good morning, everyone. My phone just rang in the middle of that, so it must have been a sign. Um, yeah, good morning, Ruth Langford from Naraniara, and we have with us the incredibly beautiful uh, Moran, who I met. Oh, did we meet at the festival? Ooh, what did we? No, I. Ooh, um, maybe we met at New Kind, or I saw you at New Kind, New and kind. then just different events. I yeah. think together. Yeah. Yeah. And we've played a few times, uh, co-creating experiences, um, responding to the spirit of place and story that arises. And I love the medicine that Moran brings, particularly because what I've witnessed um, both through your live feeds on Facebook, but also people that I've yarned with and where we've worked together. Mm. Um, a very clear understanding of the medicine of country that country itself heals mm. and that when we're in alignment with that that's when we can create the harmony and amplify the good spirit that's created mm. they're my words i'm sure <laughs> she got something else around what she does what do you do my girl oh what do i do it's a good question i play music and yeah. it happens yeah. but yeah no it is about um for me, it's, it's a lot about stepping back, stepping back from what my conception of myself is so that I can allow the trees or the earth or whatever it is that wants to be expressed to play. But, you know, it takes a lot of work to step back. <laughs> I don't always do it very well. And, you know, sometimes it's my ego that plays, which is fine too, but it's a different, certainly a different type of offering then. Yeah. 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 Um, Moran came in to join us for our morning meds and we got yarning up about how um, the importance of deepening our practice mm -hmm. and bringing what we do not only in isolated communities but how we co-collaborate and collectively join in so how do we put everything in the mix mm -hmm. and we also started yarning up about um, an experience that you had recently training mm. um, some great techniques around the releasing of patternings um, or yeah trauma essentially trauma events um, as they're neurologically wired in our brains and how what's a way that we can we can access the, the mind body connection of those trauma events and and repattern our brains for that for our body's response to that memory or that particular event whenever it is or whatever it is because that's certainly been a big part of my own healing journey of being able to be introduced in a supportive way um, to what practices that in, enable me to investigate through the support of my own inner healer, mm. um, what are the things that inform me and have literally formed me mm. and shaped the patterning so that when I have an experience out in the world, um, what's my response to them? Mm. And um, I recalled when, um, oh, this is probably about 10 years ago, I went on this incredible um, holotropic breathwork workshop in Somerset in England. In mm. And I was there with a powerful teacher, Stanislav Groff, um, him and his then wife, Christina Groff, um, who originally uh, brought together the practice of holotropic breath work. And after that module, damn, for three months, I literally thought I was this enlightened being on planet <laughs> Earth. I literally walked on the Earth mm. with this sense of connection, uh, totally in the present, like I literally loved everything. I would touch <laughs> anything and I could appreciate the depth of all that it is. Um, my mind stopped thinking in, in, a, <laughs> in a incessant way. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is it. <laughs> I, yeah. I've done my work, thanks <laughs> very much. Off I go yeah. into whatever that is. <laughs> And then three months later, I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I was back yelling at the kids. Mm. Um, nowhere near the same. Mm. Completely had, had um, I suppose I would describe it as a software upgrade or whatever mm. that is. But it, I, it then sent me on a journey where I started to look at the research of patterning, particularly the ne neurological mm. pathways and how a lot of experiences can bring us to understand we have a patterning. This is the groove that we've been on and we then have experience that touches on a new groove or creates a new way of being or is for me it's more in alignment with what is my natural sense of being mm. but then what happens um, both in my own personal experience and I've had it reported to me consistently that particularly when uh, uh, another experience arises which is hard another mm -hmm. trauma point uh, we're not just talking about road rage, we're talking about something happens, yeah. somebody dies, um, you know, we get triggered in a different way. Uh, as human beings, we're more likely to consistently jump back to that original groove of patterning response mm. than we are. And so my mm. curiosity is around how people are navigating that so that we deepen our practice that we understand it's not a one-time mm. shot it's a integration of our awakening and our um, where we are and how we be mm. so that we can um, first of all not do deepen that groove again but secondly we can explore what other scenarios and what other patternings that we can cultivate that is more in alignment with what and who and how we want to be and create in the world. Mm. Um, and I'm wondering because music for me has been, um, for me, uh, at the epicentre of the capacity for us to, particularly for me, to be mm. an integrative Place, but it's a very powerful and effective way to help us first of all one realize our patterns mm. secondly to help us um, cultivate other ways have, have you yeah no I totally resonate with what you're saying and I think I really love that like, metaphor of the grooves because I think, you know, and maybe it's almost like a spiral groove, right? It's like, okay, so we're here stuck in whatever we don't necessarily want to be stuck in. And then, you know, whether it's through music or holotropic breath work or whatever, whatever that, that, oh, there's something over here, wonderful. And wow, you know, we might spend three months or three years or three seconds in that space. And then we're going to cycle back around again because that's kind of the magnet. But I suppose for me, music, especially if we've had, you know, like in a way it can be a kind of an anchor, right? If we've had an experience of incredible music of some description over here and then we hear it again, we're going to be pulled back to this whatever, like holistic, more holistic state. So that's one way that I find music is really, like it really, it really anchors us in whatever it is that we're associating with the music as well and it can be really like enlightening. But I mean, especially especially the types of music that I'm drawn to play and that I'm drawn to experience, there's a sense of the music is created by something bigger than me. Like the music that is there is created from this space. So I've had many, many instances where I play to heal myself. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm really, like I'm over here, I'm like, Ugh! I'm, I'm in the pattern, I'm, whatever it is that I'm going through or experiencing, um, and then I sit down to play and it might take me a while, but after a time it's like, well, and this is a particularly special harp, but it's like this harp is, is playing for me. And it's like, I'm, there's, there's, there's a sense of the music is allowing me to bypass the, the, whatever the patterns, the energetic patterns, the vibrations, whatever, cause music is a vibration. Mm. It's allowing me to bypass my own stuff and and the vibration of the music literally takes me over here where the, 
the vibration is more holistic or whatever. Mm -hmm. For the harp, I mean, it's perfect for that because you play one note and it's, I can feel it out here. Like mm -hmm. it's literally a vibration <laughs> and a dance as well. And um, yeah, so that's one way that music for me really kind of gets to the core of the matter in a way, in, mm -hmm. in that vibrational way. Um, but it's only, it's also only one way. <laughs> Absolutely. And, yeah. Yeah. And you know, the other thing that for me has been really powerful is, is playing outside or being outside and, and, and doing, you know, you were saying like, how do we, how do we integrate that? And how do we, you know, it's, it's maybe it's about a regular practice. You know, maybe it's about that regular acknowledgement that we're not going to have one enlightened experience. And what I think there's a actually a, a Buddhist scholar, maybe Tenzin, I've forgotten her last name, who says that enlightenment is just one. It's like you're enlightened for a minute and you're enlightened for another minute. And the goal is to get the minutes almost <laughs> next to each other because you're not enlightened. You're just enlightened here and then enlightened here. And uh -huh. how do we join the two together? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. Um, Moran has joined us um, for our morning meditations here with Naira Niara at the Longhouse. Um, we are considering actually moving those not to the morning but to the evening to allow more people to come and join us in this experience. Um, so we'll keep you posted on those. Um, the other thing that what you talked about was really important for me is how the medicine of music, how does it matter to us? And it literally has the capacity to realign matter, mm -hmm. ourselves, what matters to us into our own being. I love sharing, for me, um, being very blessed to travel around the world and sitting with so many different Indigenous knowledge keepers and a big part of that was understanding that everything is singing. Mm. Like you often hear yeah. the concept of song lines or the power of ceremony through song and um, a lot of the traditional healers, um, they actually use song as the, the way in, the entry point in. Um, and then looking at uh, how Western science, particularly in quantum physics, is catching up with that very clear ancient knowledge of reality that when you go down to um, microscopic, you go beyond atoms, you know, smaller and smaller and smaller, and you'll, you'll discover that, you know, atoms and quarks, they actually vibrate. Mm. Um, everything at a very atomic level is vibrating and when something vibrates it's literally giving off a sound a frequency mm. everything is singing everything <laughs> is singing literally yeah. and so um just with all that western knowledge having all that terminology which is quite um hard to catch on to and yet you know yeah. The old people, they go, oh, yeah, just sing a song. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, we're going to invite you. Moran's going to play for us, and I'm going to kick back, lay back, um, open to the experience. Um, we encourage you, if your body particularly feels like it wants to move in a particular way, then trust that if it feels right for you. Um, you may want to bring in your yoga poses or qigong or anything of your medicine practices that you've utilised before. Um, or you might just want to stay in the stillness of your own sitting or laying down pose. If you fall asleep, all good. Um, sometimes I believe that rest is the most beautiful thing and much needed thing for many people um, at the moment. Um, and we'll play for... About 10 minutes or something like that, if you're right yeah, for that. For Otherwise, sure. I'll just stay here for a long time. <laughs> we'll so see. get yourself comfy. The half often decides how long it wants to play. Oh, perfect. So we'll see.
your own time, just taking a moment to come back into your own body and with us collectively. Bringing your awareness also into the place where you are. And we invite you to extend acknowledgement and respect to the spirit of place where you currently are. Acknowledging the Aboriginal and First Nations continued custodianship, responsibilities and rights to their ancestors and to our own country. And perhaps you would like to extend an invitation that this journey is for your own well-being but potentially expanding that to the well-being of your own ancestors. To those that are living in your own family and community connections. Expanding that to all beings. Our deep gratitude to this beautiful heart. And to you, Moran, thank you for sharing your good spirit and medicine. Very grounded for my day today. Hope you do too, and we may see you soon. Welcome.